everybody, JJ in here and welcome to my channel. So on today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a haul that I have. So I want to make some changes to my half bath. And so I decided to buy some things to make that happen. And I wanted to share with you guys the things that I ended up getting to make this a reality. So let's get started with the video. Okay, so the first item is this here, this clock that I'm going to be using. I ended up getting this from at home. As you guys can see, I'll put the price. If I don't have, if you don't see the price on the item, then I will put the prices of the items in the description box as well as at the bottom of the screen. But yeah, this item here, I saw this and I thought this was great. Uh, colors that I'm going to be using are like a sage green, brown, neutral tones. That's throughout my house. And so this was one of the first items that I ended up seeing from at home. And I usually like this style of uh, clocks. I have a couple of clocks that are pretty much like the same color in my home. And so I'm going to place this, I believe I'm going to place this on the wall as you're entering into the half bath. And so it's one of the first thing you first things that you see. I usually like having clocks in all my rooms. It drives some of my family members crazy, but I don't care because they don't live here. So anyway, <laughs> I like having clocks in my room. I like to know what time it is and I like to know what's going on. So bam, there you go. First item on my list of things to help with completing the transformation in my bathroom. Booyah. Next item I ended up getting was this, uh, what is this? My tissue rack. Wow. Girl, bye. It was $10.99 and it was also from, let me bring this back so you can see it a little further. I also ended up getting this from at home. And like I said, it was $10.99. I love it because it's of course the within the color scheme that I'm using and I can put my paper towel up here and then store some more at the bottom. That way it'll be very good for my bathroom for sure. But yeah, I ended up getting this. So this next item here is a rod that I have that I'm going to be using to place uh, around the top part of the window. And with me renting, I don't want to necessarily use the pieces that you see here. So, I'm going to use command hooks, which I will show you in just a moment, um, to hang this up on the uh, window and then put my curtains on here, of course. But I don't like um, using nails to place these uh, rods up on the uh, windowsill or around the windowsill, I should say. So, yeah. And I believe this was $5.99. I can't remember where I ended up getting it from because a lot of these things, I didn't get them from the same store. And I was at a lot of different, I think I got it from Target. But I can't remember for sure, but it was $5.99. And so my next item are the command hooks that I was just talking about that I'm going to be using to adhere to the wall to hold the rod that I was just showing you guys. Uh, these were $19.99. I did get these from Target. And I love because they have that. They're within my color scheme. Look at how beautiful those are. They're not like the basic white ones that I normally use. I wanted to dress up this particular bathroom or half bath. So um, I decided to opt to get the brown tone ones here instead. You can see most of my accessories are going to be this color. Some are going to be the sage green. But I ended up getting this. Then I ended up getting this from TJ Maxx. It was $9.99. I love 
the trash bin, I don't like the trash cans to be too large. And so this is a nice size one that would fit right in between the sink and the wall. And so I ended up getting this. Nice. Y'all can see that just a little bit there. Then I also ended up purchasing some more towels for that particular bathroom um, with it being kind of like um, a guest bathroom. Uh, there are times when I like things to coordinate. And so here's that sage green that I was talking to you guys about. I ended up getting this. Yes. And as a matter of fact, I got this from Big Lots. I ended up getting two of these towels. So while there, I also ended up getting a rug to place right in front of the sink. It's the sage green that I had mentioned earlier in the video, color scheme that I want to use. This was, I think it was only five bucks it wasn't much like i said i will put down what the prices are because some of them i don't remember offhand and this is 17 inches by 24 inches nice size okay and so this next item here is a storage unit that I want to use the two tier sliding cabinet basket and this is good because I can place this right underneath the sink and so I'm going to be doing some organization as well in that bathroom um, there's not much storage in there or use of storage storage so I'm going to use this two tier sliding cabinet basket to um, help with that and this I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. I believe it was $21 and some change. Then I'm going to be painting the door because the door, when I show you guys how it looks in the beginning of the video, as you brought, can very well see, it is nest and teeth. This is awful. So I wanted to paint it with this paint here that you all see. I ended up just getting this brand, um, Val's Par. The Signature Line Satin Interior Paint. And I got the paint color, or I had it tinted to Birchwood White. Ended up using this and stuff, but yeah. Then with that, of course, oh, this was $13, I think it's some change. Like I said, I'll put the price right down here. Ended up getting this brush here to use to get within the crevices of the... And I also ended up getting this as well. I had to get that so that I would have something to be putting uh, the paint in while I'm painting the door. Okay, you guys, so that completes all of my haul. I had some other things too, but they're unrelated to me doing upgrades and a makeover for the half bath. And so I didn't decide to show those. We would be here forever if I was to show you the rest of the items that I ended up getting. And I just can't have that, right? So anyway, I thank you guys for joining me today. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the week. Remember, I create content that adds to your life. Make sure that you are going to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.